Hey, what's up everybody? Carlos here, back with another video. And today what I wanna talk about is if you're a contractor, whether or not you should hire somebody to run Facebook ads for you, or if you should just learn how to do them yourself, right? I'm sure a lot of contractors have thought that, ah, I don't really wanna pay somebody, maybe I'll just learn how to do it myself, okay? What's the best route for you? Obviously, I don't know exactly what the best option is gonna be for you, but as somebody who has learned how to run Facebook ads for their own cabinet painting business, and somebody who has, uh, who is now running ads for other contractors, I might be able to give you some insight. So the thing is, either way, you're going to be spending one of two things, okay? You're either going to be spending your time or you're going to be spending your money. Possibly both if you have both, but I think most contractors just could be one or the other, okay? So if you have more time, then sure, learn how to run Facebook ads, right? There's plenty of content on Facebook, uh, on YouTube that's free, right? That you can learn the technical aspect, right? Because you got to remember, there's two different sides to this. There's the technical aspect of how to run Facebook ads, which is how to use Facebook ads platform, what buttons to push, you know, how to run campaigns, how to test them, measure your KPIs, right? All that stuff. But then there's also like just the basic marketing knowledge that you have to have, right? So it's like, okay, where do I learn basic online marketing? Um, so those are going to be the two different aspects. Um, if you go the route of learning how to run ads on your, you know, for yourself, which is kind of going to be a brand new skill set. If you have no marketing background, you know, if you're a contractor and you just have no marketing background whatsoever, it, that's going to be a brand new skill set. You know what I mean? You're going to have to spend time like reading books, buying courses, um, implementing testing. You know, you're probably going to lose a little bit of money up front because you're, you're testing things and you're not quite sure what's going to work, what's not going to work. So you're definitely going to have to look at it as an entirely different part of your business that you're going to have to get better at. Right. So it's not going to happen like overnight. Uh, if you have the time to do that, then that's probably one of the better routes to take. Right now, on the flip side, if you want to hire somebody to run ads for you, then if everything goes well, it can be a really great investment. Right. Obviously, you can get a bunch of work from Facebook. I mean, Facebook is a great platform. If you're a contractor and you do, you know, just typical residential work, like whatever, painting, um, cabinetry, um, you know, uh, roofing, just like any, anything residential based, um, you, can, you can crush it on Facebook for sure. So if you hire somebody and they do a good job for you, then it's awesome, right? Um, but it could also be a problem if you hire somebody, they don't know what they're doing and they do pretty much everything you would have done if you tried it yourself, which is like waste money, waste time and all that. So um, you're either gonna be spending your own time figuring it out or spending money trying to find the right person to do it, okay? Now, obviously you wanna find somebody that has, um, you know, maybe some testimonials, they can show you that they've um, provided actual results um, you know, there's definitely ways to, to go about, honestly, I would go into a couple forums and ask, um, you know, uh, marketers, agencies, Facebook ad specialists, like, Hey, what are some of the things that are, that you guys are doing nowadays? Right. And then just start taking notes and start to look for some of the, the similarities, right? Um, like, Oh, it seems like this is kind of like the main thing. Oh, this update happened with Facebook recently. So it seems like a lot of marketers have shifted and pivoted to this particular strategy, right? Everyone's going to have their own strategy and different ways of doing it. But for the most part, you know, um, you could probably find a lot of similarities. And then from there, just be in a better position to make a decision, right? That's what I would do. I would start in a forum, start asking questions and start paying attention to the answers you get. Um, if you were going to go the, the, the route of hiring somebody. So again, I can't make the decision for you, but just know that if you want to do it yourself, it's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of effort. If you're going to hire somebody, it's going to take money, right? You're going to have to hire somebody. If you don't get the right person on the first try, then you're going to have to try somebody else, right? So it just depends on what you're willing to, to spend your time or your money. Um, but uh, again, Facebook, great place to run um, uh, ads for your contractor business. So anyways, hopefully that helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments or um, DM me and um, yeah, talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.